Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to another episode of Building on WordPress. My name is Josh Donnelly and in today's video we are going to take a look at a nifty little tool called Chatbase. Now as I'm sure you guys are aware there is an AI craze all over the world with people rushing to different solutions and coming up with new products and there is a lot of clutter out there. But Chatbase is a phenomenal tool that I stumbled on several months ago and it is a really great way to create a chat GPT powered chat bot that is trained only on your data and uses embeddings to never veer outside of the content of your data. So in theory, it's not going to veer off course and hallucinate or make up new content. It will only use what you have trained it on. And the best part about it is that you can get up and running on it in under a minute. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. So as you guys know, this is my site here building on WP.com and I really don't have a whole lot of content on this site. As as my YouTube channel started to grow more and more, I just threw this up very quickly. There are a lot of things that I hope to do to this in the future, but for the sake of example, we are going to use this as our baseline, and this is how we are going to train our chat base chat bot. So without further ado, let's dive in. So the first thing that we're gonna do is jump over to Chatbase here. And I already have an account set up with these guys, but it is super easy to get up and running. Once you have an account set up, you just jump right over to my chatbots. And you'll notice that I have this emptied out, so I don't currently have anything in here. And we are going to do this together. So like I said, things move pretty quickly here and we can get up and running in no time. The first thing we're gonna do is create a new chatbot. And right away, you'll notice that we have different options for feeding it data and training it on our topic. We can upload files. So this is things like PDFs, docs, text files, what have you. You can upload those here and train it on those documents. You can literally just copy paste text in here. We can also connect a website, have it scrape some URLs or look at a sitemap. You can upload Q and A's here, or you can even integrate it with your Notion account. But for the sake of our example here, we want to train it on the building on wordpress.com website. So we're going to jump over to website here. We're going to jump up to building on wp.com right here, and we're going to paste that in and tell it to crawl. Now I'm just going to speed through this process, but it does move pretty quickly on its own. And there you go. It has already scraped the building on wordpress.com site. You'll notice it has a bunch of different links that it was able to detect from right down here. I'm going to go ahead and just assume that all of those are correct, but you could go one by one and delete things that you didn't want it to train on. So once we have those set up, we're going to say create chatbot. And now you can see and interact and test our chatbot here before we even embed it on our site. Now, one of the more popular videos that I have on my channel is the WooCommerce custom checkout. And so let's go ahead and ask it a question about this. Please provide the CSS for customizing my WooCommerce checkout. And let's see what it gives back to us. Perfect. So this is straight from our site. Now, if we test this out and we wonder how it's coming up with this content or where it's getting this information from, that is one of the best parts of Chatbase. It actually shows you sources down here once it is done generating the content. Once we click on show sources, it'll actually show you the areas of the website where it pulled this content from here. Now, you can even tweak your chatbot a little bit. So we can jump into settings here and under model, we can see when it was last trained and then we can jump into the model and here's your base prompt. So here is the default that is provided by Chatbase, which is I want you to act as a support agent. Your name is AI assistant, yada, yada, yada. If an answer is not included, say, hmm, I'm not sure and stop after that, refuse to answer any question. Okay, cool. This is looking pretty good. I want it to say that its name is let's see building on WordPress. So we'll do B O W P Y Bow P. So this is Bow P and you can chat with Baupi. Uh, temperature, I want it to be a little more fun than super reserved. I don't know what this is going to look like, but let's go halfway here. And um, let's just say have fun. Okay, so now we'll click save. And we can also come in here and into our chat interface, we can choose a color, I'm just going to kind of pick some purple color here. And I think that's working pretty well. Let's choose a purple for the icon. And we like the bottom right. So I think that's working. We'll click save. So we'll click on here and we can come in here and we can ask it a question. Let's first start with what is your name? And it should come back with what we've trained it on. So its name is Baupi. How may I assist you today? Okay, now please provide WooCommerce checkout CSS. Now, again, I don't have a whole lot of content on my site, so this isn't the best example, but if you have a lot of content on your site, it's going to really learn and be able to regurgitate that content to your end users. So how do we get this onto our site? Well, let's go ahead and click on this embed on site. 
and we'll make it public. And you could just use an iframe, which would embed it straight into a page. So we could, let's go ahead and do that. We'll click on this. We'll copy the iframe. We'll jump to our homepage and right down here, let's go ahead and just create a new section. And inside of that section, let's go ahead and just add a div. And inside of that div, we'll go ahead and add some raw content. And inside of that raw content, we'll add our iframe. Now, I don't like that it's full screen here. So we'll go into our div, we'll say global container, and we'll add a little bit of margin here. And now if I save this and jump out to the front end, we'll scroll down and you'll notice our chat based chat bot is already here and is functional. So if we ask that question again, we should see that working here. So that's looking pretty good. Now, what if we wanted this in more of a traditional format? So we wanted the little chat bubble on the bottom right hand side. Well, that is super easy as well. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this from here. And there are plenty of different ways that you can do this. You could actually use some uh, code in your functions.php to put the JavaScript in the header. I'm going to do this a very simple way just so that it is easy for everybody to follow along. We'll just go into plugins here. We're going to click add new and we are going to type in code one of the first plugins to come up is going to be this wp code here this is one that is great for doing things like this as well though typically i like to avoid another plugin but let's go ahead and use this here so with that installed on the left hand side here you'll notice we now have code snippets and if i hover on that and click on header and footer so into the header let's jump back to our chat base here so we'll go ahead and copy our script we'll jump back over to our header and footer editor and we'll paste that script in here we're going to go ahead and click on save changes and now let's jump back over to the front end of the website and hit refresh. When we do that, look in the bottom right hand corner here, we have our chat bot. We can open this up and we can actually see a history of our conversation that we had here. We can refresh that history and we could ask again, please provide CSS for something. And there you have it. Even though this video was longer than a minute, the process to create, train, and deploy our chat-based chatbot took less than a minute and was live on our site in no time. As always, I hope you guys find these videos useful. I would love to see examples of your work in the comments below. Feel free to also ask any questions or provide ideas for future videos. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.